Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad. Uh, welcome to Rad Kutarot, and this is going to be a uh, Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and Gemini Rising weekly tarot reading April 1st to uh, April 6th, 2019. And while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again that uh, this is going to be a general reading for the Gemini star sign. And, uh, for that reason, the reading is going to regard to different things uh, for every single Gemini and is going to relate in a different way with those things as well, again, for every, for every single different Gemini. Um, so uh, you will have to relate the reading with your personal situation for maximum accuracy. But uh, if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, and to give you a, a prediction for its future, just like I'm doing for the few examples in this video. That is a subject of a private reading, and for such you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services, as well as their pricings, starting from just as little as $12 for recorded readings and $15 for a personal call readings. So, Going to the Gemini's week now, the first card, which is marking the topic for Gemini, that is going to be the temperance, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation, that is going to be the Eight of Swords. Then we do have the third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation, that is going to be the Star card. And the last one, which is the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot, this is going to be the Emperor. So once again, we do have the temperance, after that, it is the Eight of uh, Swords. Then uh, that is going to be the Star card. And lastly, final outcome of growth. That is going to be the Emperor. But this final outcome of, gro of growth follows only if you accomplish here the Guidance of Tarot that it is engraved in these couple of cards. <clears throat> so it seems that uh, throughout this week, Gemini's uh, your things and uh, your situations in general are going to uh, stabilize. And especially for those which are oppressed by others, like in Korea, being oppressed by your, um, by your co-workers, or in relationship being oppressed by your partner, it seems that this oppression is going to lose its news upon uh, around your neck quite a bit. Now that is displayed here with the temperance card and it seems that um, you are to find the right measures throughout that week, how to tackle with your uh, situations, either career or either relationship wise without going into neither of the extreme approach. So uh, the way that I can see that card is that one can avoid a breakup into their relationships if the relationship is really uh, stifling or one can uh, one can avoid being fired from from their job if the situation there is really um, despondent and so on and so forth. As well, the temperance is about um, acknowledging uh, personal independence in a sense that everybody has their opinion and just because opinions differentiate, uh, that doesn't mean that people should not, uh, I could say, respect each other. So that uh, itself points a, a very positive time where people can just, you know, enjoy the time spent um, in one another, even if they have differences among each other. As with this card, the differences is what is going to make you special for one another, which leads to the other interpretation that it is um, solidarity and compassion that you are going to experience from the people around you and the temperance is about growing healing powers as well the accompanied card here that is going to be the two of swords formation is active uh, friends and it seems that you will have to truly position yourself in the middle here taking no side whatsoever especially when when you have two fighting forces for example two colleagues fighting among one, one another and you shouldn't take any side whatsoever neither to one of the colleagues or neither to the other of the colleagues same goes uh, social circle wise relationship wise as well that is because with this um, with this card coming up here 
uh, the fullness of the situation is yet to be uncovered and that's why uh, that's why one could make a, a bit of a premature decision what side should take or what kind of measures one should take as well to resolve the issue once again you have to be balanced balanced and you should not go into any extreme measures or extreme standpoint that is either regarding career or either regarding relationship. So the way I see it, no irrevocable decisions should be made throughout this week in a sense of, you know, I'm leaving you, I'm not leaving you, or, you know, I'm quitting the job or I am going to stick with that job at all costs and so on and so forth. Just try to position, like I said, yourself in a very balanced, uh, balanced standpoint. Which leads us to the second card that it is, what you should not do uh, regarding the topic and the eight of swords is complete opposite here what we do have is stubbornness unyielding one being completely stuck with what they want disregarding the signs that what they want may be not what it is aimed for them or it could be something noxious for their lives so that's why guys with the eight of swords it is best of us or of you Gemini's to recognize what you are doing to contribute to stuck yourself into a certain situation because the appearance of this card here points that should you experience situation at halt throughout this week it is because you made it that way and by you looking at outside of the box or in this specific follow-up Waiting for this new information to come around is going to truly unstuck you here and we will allow you to progress further with your goals, either regarding career or either regarding relationship. Additionally to that, this card could uh, represent disruption into communications in a sense of that you may uh, be misunderstood or you may, may misunderstand somebody and that's why we do have the temperance at the first um, at the first place saying that everybody has their own opinion so just because you don't understand your partner that doesn't mean that your partner is wrong for example into your relationship or same goes into career that's why being unyielding about your standpoint is something that you should not exert throughout the week but rather being more open to compassion uh, and compromises as well that will truly make the chores that you are to do throughout the week much more enjoyable than than in in their usual state and the accompanied card here that is going to be the tree of swords which formation is a active supporters and it seems that um, how can I put it in words here the well, this these cards, guys, truly speak for one charging upon inevitable uh, failure should one be unyielding about, once again, their standpoint and uh, their yearnings, that being said. So let's say you desperately want... I, I will just give you an example here because that is a bit... Um, a very vague to uh, by explanation so let's say you desperately want to go into a, a tour in europe all right you want it so much you live in the united states and you want to go tour in europe you don't have the money but you desperately want it your partner tells you look we don't have the money to do so that will bankrupt us and so on and so forth but you desperately want it so you oppress your opinion here with the eight of swords you mourn about it you you whine about it and so on and so forth and finally you uh, withdraw a loan from a bank or from a, a loan company and so on and so forth and you go to a, a, a tour in europe and what happens is that you contribute to being stuck financially on your own accord. It's, this is what the cards are expressing here. So being unyielding about your standpoint and about your opinion, trying to enforce it into everybody is only going to make you more and more miserable. So once again, be open for a quite of compromises because this throughout this week, as with the temperance is a prime card, differences in the different opinions is what going to give a birth into something special in your life and talking about that the third card for you gemini's this is going to be the star card so instead what you should do is try to be example into everybody example of compassion and example of openness you need to be someone from which support radiates Okay, instead of being bruisey and oppressing. Additionally to that, the star card represents 
at end of a turmoil in many ways. So if there are a turmoils in between you and colleagues or in between you and your partner into your relationship, this card points that you should be the peacemaker here. So you should make the first step in order to initiate the process of uh, waving the, light, the white flag or creating peace in there. Uh, for some of you, that could be very difficult. I know that I have quite a lot of uh, clients that is which always think that it is not their fault. And maybe sometimes that is the case. It is not your fault. And uh, now is the time to ask, do you want that project or do you want that relationship? And seeing that even if your partner or even if your colleague knows that it is their fault, they don't want to admit that. Well, if you want things to happen, you will have to lie and you will have to admit that it is your fault. It is simply here the star card points that you should try to reach compromise or common ground or make peace at all costs possible. Should you want the thing to have that thing, either your career or either your relationship to have a long term development, that is because that's, the star card is always about a long-term development and it is always about ending of a turmoil so wherever you have a turmoil in your life career relationship elsewhere you know you have to aim to create peace into that environment kind of like bury down the the, the hatchets of war you know close your swords and so on and so forth or turn the slow the swords into plushes and so on and uh, so forth so the accompanied card of the star that is going to be the nine of cups formation here is active neutral and it does look like that it's, it's not going to be very pleasant to do so in many cases you know to exert peace or to initiate the first steps into the peace maybe because what i said here is that you are going to firmly believe that you are on the right side and the other side did you wrong or they are not correct and so on and so forth and this is exactly what we said here with the eight of swords guys being and yelling about your standpoint is only going to wreak more and more havoc so at that point is going to be best you know just to do what is necessary to um to stop the aggressive behavior or to stop the aggression into one environment into your environment and this thing is going to provoke a, a, a big amounts of content as well of sensual joy and life fulfillment and you are to see that slowly but steady that situation which previous were uh, were quite poignant you know and uh, and quite miserable and or it was making you quite miserable now have a, a lot of uh, a lot of room to grow and should you um how can i place it should you aim to secure on it that short-term um, happiness could traverse itself into a long-lasting one and should you do so uh, the last card for you that is going to be the uh, emperor so you are to prove yourself or to show yourself a very very reliable person someone who can control their things someone who can control their life someone who is very uh, I said reliable and trustworthy as well and that will allow you as now you have peace everywhere you are example of, of peacemaker and um, <clears throat> people trust you more that will allow you to exert more structure in your life to systemize your plan to systemize your responsibilities indeed and deeds excuse me and that is to um, allow you to face every day's chores and everyday ups and downs with much more ease allowing you to create more free time for yourself that is with uh, with the emperor card and uh, with with this card as well guys it is likely especially talking about career that you are to be given a, a big big project out there and the accompanied card here that is going to be the judgment so the judgment it's uh, well basically what these cards are pointing is that someone who lost um, faith in you is going to regain that faith once again because they are seeing that you are not as resilient as they thought you are regarding your once again your standpoints your way of thinking the ability of you to learning and ability of yourself to adapt to the situation so we can talk about reconciliation really with an ex you know i mean it, it truly looks like a, a peace in between you and your ex uh, if you aim 
uh, Gemini's to do so, that looks like a, a very, very positive week. You know, acknowledging that everybody has their, uh, ha has their kind of like opinions, but these opinions, even different, uh, should not be a prerequisite. Uh, one great thing to end, even if required, you know, you have to say sorry if that's going to make the other person better. And from there, that person seeing you reliable and capable, you know, for the, for the greater good to make a compromise. Once again, seeing you reliable and trustworthy will allow you to this time around, you know, embark into this uh, relationship on you and structure it in a much bigger ease. As I said, making the ups and downs there are much more bearable and uh, allowing you to enjoy it. So that being said, uh, Gemini's, that also could relate to job, into project or into friendship as well. It all comes to that, guys, how compassion and how much solidarity and readiness to make a compromise you do have so you can resuscitate something from the past. So that being said, Gemini's, this was your weekly tarot reading for April 1st to so April 6th, 2019. And once again, as a general reading, this reading is going to relate to different things for every single different Gemini's and is going to resonate in a different way with uh, every single different Gemini. <clears throat> but if you want a, a personal reading, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, just like I did for the few examples in this video, and to give you a, what is going to happen with it in the future, uh, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings one and um, $15 for the private call readings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.